As the case numbers continue to climb, the questions to our verified team just keep on coming in. Abby Larico joins us now with the answer to something a lot of you are asking about the vaccine. Good morning. Hey, ladies, good morning. We are actually talking about the smallpox vaccine, and we've had several people reach out and ask if they received the smallpox vaccine years ago. What is the guidance for getting a monkeypox vaccine now? Our sources are the CDC and several medical doctors. Smallpox and monkeypox come from the same family of viruses. And because of that, the CDC says the same vaccines work on both. Once routine, most Americans no longer need a smallpox vaccine. After the disease was considered eradicated in the U.S., the shots haven't been widely administered since 1972. But if you got a shot to prevent smallpox 50 years ago or more, what kind of protection does that provide against monkeypox now? Essentially, we don't know yet. Dr. William Moss says we need more data. It's possible that they'll have some immunity, but I would not rely on a smallpox vaccination 50 plus years ago. Dr. Dan Baruch adds it could be hard to quantify how much protection someone still has. Since they do have long-term immunity against smallpox, they probably have some level of immunity against monkeypox, likely to be lower than if someone very recently received the smallpox vaccine. Here's what we do know. The CDC currently recommends anyone exposed to monkeypox who hasn't received the smallpox vaccine within the last three years should consider getting vaccinated again. You're likely protected against severe disease, but you should still get vaccinated against monkeypox if you fall into that high-risk category. And when Dr. Amish Andal just says high risk there, the CDC says some people should especially consider getting a vaccine. That includes people who have been exposed to monkeypox, certain lab and healthcare workers, and people who've had multiple sexual partners in the past two weeks in an area with known monkeypox, which as we know includes right here in the DMV. Back to you, ladies. Abby, Abby, thank you. So many questions. Thank you so much.